In the scorching summer of 1858, London learned what happens when a great river becomes an open sewer. Heat baked the Thames into a brown, reeking sheet, its banks crusted with filth, and the stench rolled through the city like a tide. For decades, cesspits overflowed, and early flushing toilets pushed waste straight into the drains, while most officials still blamed disease on bad air. Curtains were soaked in chloride of lime, but the stink seeped through. Panic finally forced action. Within just 18 days, a new law funded a radical plan. Chief Engineer Joseph Bazalgette designed vast intercepting sewers, egg-shaped brick tunnels carrying waste away from the heart of London to giant pumping stations and outfalls, while new stone embankments reshaped the river's edge. The works opened in the 1860s, and the epidemics ebbed, aligning at last with Jon Snow's waterborne insight. Victorian engineering saved London's future, brick by brick, pipe by pipe. Every forgotten tale deserves to be told. Subscribe to Histovian and keep history alive.